Hey guys, in this recipe, I'm sharing with you a really delicious, flavorful, light, moist blueberry muffin. I came up with this recipe on the fly. I wanted to use something that didn't call for melted butter that you can just use with any flavorless oil. And then I did not have any fresh or frozen blueberries on hand, but I did have a can of the blueberry pie filling with the pieces of blueberry in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it turned out that these were the best muffins that we have ever had. So I wanted to share with you guys. It's a few simple ingredients. I'm gonna start with my wet ingredients. That way you don't have to have two bowls, one for wet and one for dry. So I'm gonna mix all the wet and then add in the dry. So I already have one large egg. To that, I'm going to add one third cup of oil. I'm using canola, the vegetable would be just fine. To that, I'm adding a half a cup of milk. Any milk will work, dairy or non-dairy. I'm using, of course, oat milk. Next, one and a half teaspoons of good vanilla or a good splash. Next, we're going to add our blueberry pie filling. This is a half can of blueberry pie filling. They come in 20 to 21 ounces. So about 10 or 11 ounces or half a can of the blueberry pie filling. Now I'm going to mix these ingredients together. I do want to let you know that these will be a little bit odd color just because of the blueberry pie filling. They'll have like a purplish greenish tint. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of all purpose flour. a cup of sugar fourth a teaspoon of salt teaspoons of baking powder now we're going to get all of this mixed up and combined and don't forget to preheat your oven to 400 got all of our ingredients combined this is what I was talking about with kind of the odd looking color that's just because of the filling so now we're going to put this in our cupcake liners okay now I'm going to fill my cupcake liners and I just use an ice cream scoop I'm not sure what size this is but I put two scoops in each one and this makes perfect 12 muffins dozen muffins and if you need more if you got a bigger family if you got a bigger family or if you want to you know while you're already cooking in the bacon got everything out you know you could double it easily sure I can't speak you can double it easily and you can throw the other batch in the freezer. You have some stuff on standby if you need it. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these in a 400 degree oven. My oven cooks a little faster and hotter than most, I believe. So I'm gonna start watching these about 15 minutes and then I'll just keep my eye on them and then when they get 
good and brown on top. I'll insert a toothpick and make sure it comes out clean to make sure they're done. I also think this recipe would be good with the strawberry pie filling. There's an apple pie filling. You can add some cinnamon to it. It's so versatile when you can do so many different muffins like flavors with this basic recipe. I can't wait to try them out. So here they are, fresh out of the oven. Mine took about 17 minutes on 400. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and this video. If you love blueberry muffins, give this video a thumbs up.